Hello everyone and welcome to another Vada Bracelet video. This time we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the Dim Card Holster and Dynasty of the Evil Dim. So this is right in time for the spooky spooky season. So let's get started. So this is obviously the Dim Card Holster and this is obviously the Dim. But uh, first of all, uh, I don't know why it's called Dynasty of the Evil. I swear I saw originally when it was first announced that it was just Dynasty of the of, of Evil without the the, but or maybe maybe my mind just omitted the the, but this time nope Dynasty of the Evil. Reminds me of the Evil Dead. I don't know why, but it does. Probably because it has the word evil and the in it. So maybe. So first up we have the dim card holster. It's just made out of like a plastic, it's not metal or anything, but it looks quite nice. It's got the vital symbol there and it's got the dim card logo there. And once I work out how to open it, I'll open it. So it seems to have some hinge here. And now you will watch me flail around trying to work out. Oh, it's, it's a slide. So it kind of slides off. And that is around the opposite way I thought it would be. I would have thought that you open it up and have the dim cards, but I'm assuming that this is actually where you put the... Yeah, there we are. So that slides in there. Kind of weird that you see the, the mould there and the mould there. Kind of makes it look a little bit like it was kind of put together. I guess it was put together. That's how things are made. And they kind of slide in there, but yeah, it, it doesn't feel snug. You kind of just put them there. I'm assuming that if you put all the dim cards in there, it is more snug. But it doesn't feel as snug as I would have hoped. There we are. Nope, never mind. It is not snug at all. I'm not sure which way. I would assume that it was like alternating like that. Yeah, I think it's alternating. But yeah, it's not as snug as the fan-made ones that you can get on Etsy. But if this is all you have, especially because you slide it in, like, especially because this isn't the top. So that's kind of a little bit weird. So in order to slide your dims there, yeah, I feel like that's a really weird design because look, you'll open it like, you know, this is this is the top. We can all assume that. So we'll go, oh yes, let's let's access our dims. Oh, they all fell out. So yeah, that's kind of a weird design. I personally would have opted for having this on the bottom because it is secure there because it's got that part here. So if that were the bottom, it doesn't fall out, but because this this is the bottom, you can see it's got you know all the copyright information there. So that that is definitely the bottom, and that's definitely the top. So it is kind of weird that the dim cards kind of aren't snug. I would have thought that they would have made something a little bit snug there, but yeah. So that that's that's an in, that's an interesting uh, interesting way to have it. But I'm glad that it gives you a place you can put the dim cards there. In fact, maybe that's where I'll keep my dim cards that don't have a home in a file yet. So anything that was released after the that dim card file that's in the background there. And I guess would be a good place for like my extras, like uh, the Impulse Mon. Well, I wonder how well the... I mean, I'm assuming that the Tama Smart card would not fit in that. But the holder does, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, so that, that's an interesting... Uh, design choice that they've gone for there where they have the dim card itself on the bottom where it will fall out so yeah very interesting choice I'm assuming it becomes much more smug if you have all of them it fits one two three four five in there so I'm assuming it's a little bit more snug but uh, yeah it's a it's a handy thing to have especially uh, if you have a lot of dims that you will transport places. So yeah, that's exciting. Yay. Actually, let's just see if it's a little bit more snug when it has the full five in there. 
So let's just grab these and pop them in. I won't use the verse dims, even though they're the same size, I'll use actual dims. So let's uh, let's put some in. So we'll put our dims in like so. And yes, I believe they would be alternating. Or maybe not. I'm trying to work out which way would be best. That feels such a weird design. It doesn't feel like it fits all that snugly in there. Yeah, this is... Am I doing it the wrong way around? I think I might be doing the wrong way around. I'll have to, I'll have to call Mr. Bandai and ask which way these were meant to go around. Let's see. And last one. And let's put it back in the case. And we'll open it from the top. Okay, so when you have all five, they do fit there without falling out. But I still feel like it would logically make more sense for this to be the top. Because typically if I am to want to use a dim card I would be wanting to uh, use that uh, if, like straight away like I would want to open this up and say ah yes I would like to use the Gilmon dim or not that's not the Gilda Gilmon dim but you get my point I was like oh no then I want to use the new metal empire dim so I'll take that out and then I'll put it back in and what did they all fall out that that's the funny thing but yeah I would have thought that you, that logically that's how you would want to open it and not you want to open it and immediately just see the plastic holders. That's that 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 is a weird choice. But in any case, that that's what they chose to do. So let's now do the main event, which is the new dim dynasty of the evil. So it's it's not just evil as a concept. It's the evil. So it's something. It's it's the evil. So yeah. So here's my brand new VBV, and I have, I forgot his name, but it's the Triceratops with, horn, with horns that are knives, and I love him. So let's go put him in storage, or backup, and we'll remove the dim card slot, which is so much tighter on the VBV, and we'll slot in Dynasty of the Evil Dim. And now we wait for quite a while. I would have thought that on the VBV they would have tried to make this screen a little bit faster because it's kind of like a, a more improved version of the VB, but it doesn't feel much faster. But it doesn't feel slower at least, so that's a, that's a plus. But yeah, there's just weird choices with the dim card holster. Like, why would you want to open it and have the cards rather like the these plastic cards I'm not sure what to call them they're kind of just like the packaging I guess the cases I don't know I guess this is a case but yeah that feels like why would you want to see these first and not all your dims because you'll want to access your dim cards and also when you take one out what if they all fall out what if like you wanted one in the middle that doesn't hold it in snug I don't know, there's some very unusual choices there. Also, I mentioned in the VBV unboxing video that I thought mine was bugged, but I don't think it's the case. I think it's just very, very sensitive because the vitals do actually drop if I don't wear it. So that that's handy to know. Anyway, there's our little baby, our Zurumon. So Zurumon will evolve to Pokemon. And then I honestly can't remember who the child is on this. I think it might be Ghostmon. But I'm not 100% actually. It could also just be Itmon. I don't know. I can't remember. I think I'm going to say Ghostmon because that makes sense. I try not to look at the the evolution charts too much. I don't try to avoid them, but I don't actively seek out what Digimon are on it. I think I'm going to aim for Pumpkinmon and Noble Pumpkin Pumpkinmon 
just because I really like them. I think they're cool. But more or less, I kind of go in blind when I first run a dim card. So, yeah, that's exciting. Great. And in time for the spooky season. And I'll put all the dim cards back where they belong because, I don't know, it, it is neat, but I can't see myself actually using it as it functions because while I like that it gives you a place to store these, I don't want to just sort of open this and risk them all falling out. But at least when it's fully stacked, it uh, it keeps them in. But if you use one of them, I guess you, you put it back pretty much immediately. But anyway, it is so weird that if you open it up and you see the... Well, you won't even see all the packaging. You'll see the first one. When I feel like it logically should open like this. And I guess you can open it like this, but... I don't know, that's definitely the bottom. It doesn't have the logo. It has the copyright information. Copyright information is usually on the bottom. But in general, it's a cool design. And I like it. But I know that you can get much better fan-made ones on Etsy that are a lot more secure. I don't have one because the shipping was very expensive to Australia, and I was like, oh, maybe at some point. But in any case, it's fairly, fairly neat, especially if you can't print your own and you, or you can't buy one from Etsy. It is pretty handy, and it's the only way to get this dim. They don't sell this dim separately. So overall, it, it's fine, especially for the dim, but I don't see myself using the dim card holster and it'll probably just be hanging out in the back, maybe with the verse dims in there so they're not loose. But in any case, that's it for the dim card holster and the Dynasty of the Evil unboxing. Let me know what you think. Are you running this dim? Do you have this dim? Who, who you have on it or who you aiming for? And I will see you on the next video. Bye!